All right, I am going to show you how to do this spaghetti skeletal muscle fibers activity. So we're going to start small. So we're going to use actin and myosin first and build the myofibrils. Okay, we're going to build the myofibrils first. So myofibrils are actin, the thin, and myosin, the thick filaments arranged in bundles. So we're going to get five straws and we're using clear straws. So like this. And you're going to get one red stir stick and one white stir stick. Okay. And then you're going to trim four of the clear straws to the length of the stir stick. So as you can see, when I have them the same at the bottom, they're not the same at the top. So what I want to do is trim four of the straws to the length of the stir, stir sticks. So then I'm going to have one straw left long. So let me pause while I do that. Okay, so you can see when I finished, there's clearly one longer clear straw. The other clear straws are trimmed roughly to the length of the stir sticks, but again, it does not have to be exact. But what should happen is I should have one obvious straw that is longer than uh, the other clear straw. So again, leaving one of those straws along. Okay, so now I'm going to use a mix of actin, which is angel hair pasta, and myosin linguine, which is going to represent the myosin, to put into the clear straws. So you're going to have a mix of thin and thick pasta. Okay, so here you can see um, some pasta. So again, there's going to be thin uh, angel hair and then thicker the linguine and you're going to put it inside of the clear straws and you're going to put enough pasta so that it doesn't fall out so when you pick up the straws all the pasta doesn't just fall right back out okay so i'm going to pause while i do okay so i'm just going to show you real quick i have a mix of you can see thicker and then thinner pasta and what i'm going to do is take a bunch, a mix of each, and put it in side of the straw. Okay. And I want to put enough so see when I pick up that straw, the pasta doesn't immediately fall back out. So if it seems like it might fall back out, just add another um, single piece of angel hair pasta like this in the center, uh, which will be a little hard to get in. Now it's much more sturdy. So if it seems like it might fall out, add just even a bit of the angel hair pasta to make that in there secure. And you're gonna do the same thing for each of your straws. You're gonna add a mix of thin and thick pasta in the inside, okay? So I'll pause while I do that. Okay, so let's just make sure. So we have our one, two, three, four, five straws. You see with a shake, none of the pasta is coming out because I have used angel hair to make sure that doesn't happen. Now it says I'm going to break the pieces of spaghetti in length as needed to fit inside the straw. So now that they're all fit in, now I'm going to just break off the tops so that it doesn't extend beyond the length of the straw. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take them one at a time. I'm going to take the pasta and just break it like that so that it is the same length as the straw now. And there's not pasta sticking out the side. So you see right now, here is the edge of the straw, but I have pasta continuing on. So what I'm going to do is hold right here at the tip of the straw and break the pasta off. So then I just have pasta the length of the straw. So let me pause as I finish doing it. Okay, so you can see I have my one, two, three, four, five straws. One is obviously longer. The others are not entirely the same length. Totally fine. Uh, so each straw filled with actin and myosin. Remember inside here we have thick and thin. We have actin, thin, my uh is the angel hair pasta and then myosin the thick is the linguine so each one of these is a myofiber 
Okay, so now we're going to add lines uh, for the filaments to represent what's inside the straw. So you're going to get just the longest straw. So I'm just going to take this one, set the other ones aside. So take the longest straw we have. At the end of the longest straw, so generally as much as it does stick out from the other straws, draw representative thick and thin filament lines. So you can see the thick filaments <clears throat> have a line that goes around and then straight across, and then the thin filaments kind of come together in between them. So you don't have to draw as many. So let me pause this so that I can draw it and show you what it should look like. Okay, so you can kind of see this terrible artwork here at the end. I used two different colors of Sharpies just to loosely represent the actin and myosin inside this myofibril. Okay, so at this point, what we should have is five straws. One should be longer. Okay, the straw should be filled with two types of pasta in. Uh, angel hair to represent actin and thick um, linguine uh, to represent the myosin. On the longest straw, we should have drawn a representative sarcomere uh, with the thick and thin filaments using two different colors of charcoal. So there you have it. That's what we should have. Right now. Okay, so what should it look like with the actin and myosin? We should have straws filled with two types of pasta. And on the end of the longest straw, we should have the sarcomeres representative of the actin and myosin inside the myofibrils. Now let's get a little bit bigger. So now we will have hundreds to thousands of myofibrils inside a muscle fiber, but we have five. So we're going to work with that. Okay, so we're going to build a muscle fiber. So the muscle fiber is going to be surrounded by the sarcolemma, the cell membrane. So you're going to take a piece of the yellow construction paper and write sarcolemma across the top. Here's what's important. It needs to go the long way. So the top is going to be up here. And we're going to start at the top left corner and write sarcolemma. So let me do that so I can show you. Okay, so like that. So do you see I started at the top left corner and I just wrote sarcolemma. And again, this is the long way, so it's across the short side. Okay, so let's see what's next. Draw many shaded circles to represent nuclei because skeletal muscle cells have many nuclei. So let me do that. Okay, so again, you could see it says sarcolemma, and I've just drawn some shaded nuclei, a lot of them. And then I'm going to take this paper and um, I am going to trim it to the length of my straws, but not the longest straw. So remember, now I need this word sarcolemma to show. So I'm going to go like this. And you see all this extra paper? I want to trim that off. And again, I'm using the shorter straw, not the longer straw that I have this on. That one should be aside, and I should be using one of the shorter straws that are filled. So measure from the edge and I'm going to cut off this extra. I do not want to cut off the word sarcolemma, so just be careful. So let me pause and do that. Okay, so here you can see trimmed roughly to the size of that straw. So again, what should it look like? So let's see, let's take all of my five straws. You see I have the longer one. I have the word sarcolemma written here. And then it is the length of those shorter straws with that longer one sticking out. So let's continue building that fiber. So remember, myofibrils are the actin and myosin arranged in bundles called myofibrils. We have those. Um, hundreds to thousands make up a muscle fiber, but we're just using five as a representative. So you're going to wrap the sarcolemma around your myofibrils and tape it closed. The word sarcolemma should be at the top by the longest straw. So you're going to adjust it, wrap it around as tight as you can. So it's hard to do it while holding it in my hand. So, so the word sarcolemma, you see the longest straw sticking out, it's wrapped around. And we're going to um, 
we just built a muscle fiber cell after we tape it closed. So let me pause this. Okay, let me show you my recommendation. As I have the paper around all the straws, before I try and wrap it all the way around, I'm going to add a piece of tape on the inside to attach to one of the straws on the inside. That will allow me to pull this get a good tight wrap and then I can tape the outside so let me do that okay so all wrapped up like this so let me show you what it looks like so I have the word sarcolemma at the top I have my longest one sticking out where you can see the representative thick and thin filaments you can see all of my straws inside there four small ones and then one long one wrapped with the word sarcolemma, plus you can see all the repre representative nuclei, okay? So here again, sarcolemma written across the paper, nuclei drawn in, wrapping it around like this and taping it close. Okay, let's continue to build the muscle fiber. So muscle fibers are surrounded by a connective tissue called the endomesium. So we're gonna take the blue construction paper and trim it to a length that would allow the word sarcolemma to be seen. So you can see, I want this word to be seen. I don't want it all the way down here, okay? But I want the word sarcolemma to be seen. So a little bit of a distance between them. Ideally, I also see a nuclei. Okay, um, if you don't, you can also add a new one in. So I would say roughly about this length. Do you see that? Okay, so let me pause it as I do that. Okay, so I've trimmed it and the word sarcolemma, you can see, can clearly be seen. Now I'm gonna write endomesium across the top of the blue paper starting at the top left. So let me do that. Okay, you can see starting at the top left, I wrote the word endomesium. Now I'm gonna wrap this around this one and tape it closed. So the edges should match at the bottom. I'm gonna wrap this around. Ideally, the words start in the same general area. Wrap it around and tape it closed. So let me do that. Okay, like this. All right, so let me show you what it should look like. So we have sarcolemma, we have endomesium, we have the fibers uh, inside, we have the one long one with the representative thick and thin filaments. So there we go. So let's walk through it again. We wrote endomesium, we wrapped it around and taped it close. So that's where we are right now. Now we're gonna get a little bit bigger because these muscle fibers, these individual cells are gonna bundle together. So let's get bigger. So we're gonna build a muscle fascicle. All right, so let's see how we're gonna do this. So one group in each row has red paper. This represents the paramecium that's gonna surround the muscle fascicle. So write paramecium across the top, start at the top left, so let me pause. All right, so here we go. I just wrote it right there. You can see paramecium, start at the top left. Trim it to a length that will allow the word endomesium to be shown. So again, one group is gonna trim this paper. So here I'm gonna take my uh, muscle fiber. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so you can see, I wanna make sure that the word endomesium is visible. I wanna keep the word paramecium, so I'm gonna trim off this bottom part. Let me pause. You can see I have kept the word paramecium over here and I have trimmed it to a length. Uh, again, one group doing this trimming that is going to allow uh, still the word uh, endomesium to be seen. So now I'm gonna get the three muscle fibers from your row. So whoever is your row, like across from you, I'm gonna wrap them together. I'm just gonna do two as a representative um, because I'm making it by myself, but we're doing it um, as a group in class. So you're gonna take all three. Again, you're going to want to start the wrap on the opposite side of the word. So I'm going to want to start the wrap over here, roll it, and tape it closed. So let me pause while I do that. 
All right, you can see I'm going to get as tight of a roll as I can. We can see the word paramecium, we can see the endomeciums, and we can see the sarcolemmas. We can see all of the um, actin and myosin inside of the straws. We can see the sarcomeres. So again, this is what it should look like at this point. Your bundle will most likely have three. So your fascicle surrounded by the paramecium will most likely have three because you will probably have three um, groups in your row. But if you only have two, this is exactly what it will look like. So here to show, again, we take the muscle fiber bundles and we're making a fascicle by writing paramecium. Then we're going to wrap it around like this. So we bundle them all together like this, okay? Now let's get a little bigger, okay? So groups of muscle fascicles are bundled in a skeletal muscle. We have blood vessels and nerves between the fascicles. Skeletal muscle is gonna be surrounded by a connective tissue called epimecium. So let's see. Okay, one group has white paper to represent the epimecium. You're going to write epimecium across the top of the paper, starting at the top left. Again, this is the group who has this paper. You're not going to trim this one. You're going to leave it just as it is. It's going to allow the word paramecium to be seen. You're going to use three red coffee stirrers to represent blood vessels and three white ones to represent nerves. Okay, so three red and three white and you're gonna to trim to the length of this paper. So like this, okay? So I want to trim them, trim off that excess. I want them to be the same length as this paper. All right, so let me pause as I trim these. All right, so here we go. Written epimecium on the paper, trim these to the length of it, you can see. All right, what's next? So we're gonna get all the muscle fibers from the class plus these coffee stirs, three red, three white, trimmed and wrap them in the white paper. So take all of them from the class. So for us, it's probably gonna be five rows, but I'm just using two just to show you and then put it all together and tape it. Close. So let me do that and then show you what it looks like. All right, here we go. So you can see, oops, I'm trying to escape. All right, you can see what it looks like All right, let me show you the whole thing. Wrapped in white with epimecium. You can see from the side, we have red representing blood vessels, white representing nerves. That surrounds the whole skeletal muscle. Inside the muscle, we have fascicles, okay? And the fascicles are wrapped in paramecium. And then inside the fascicles, we have fibers, and they're wrapped in endomecium, and underneath that, sarcolemma. And then inside each fiber, we have myofibrils. And so here we have a wonderful built skeletal muscle. We're gonna build a whole one as a class together. So again, epimecium, um, the coffee, coffee stirs that were trimmed represent the blood vessels and nerves. Coffee stirs are under um, the white paper that go around, okay? So the coffee stirs are under that white paper and we wrap it around. And that's it. That's how you build a skeletal muscle fiber out of spaghetti and straws.